Hello everyone. First, I'd like to thank all of you for participating in our 8th Arise and Shine Worldwide University Student Bible Webinar. My name is Matthew and I'm your host for today's webinar. The year 2021 is coming to an end and as I look back on the year, many things happened, but there have also been some missed opportunities. Looking forward, the last major event of the year is Christmas. Christmas is so widely celebrated amongst predominantly Christian countries that it's been adopted as a federal holiday. When you ask people about the meaning of Christmas, they say it's to celebrate the birthday of Jesus. Indeed, many churches consider Christmas to be the birthday of Jesus and celebrate it as one of the biggest holidays. However, Christmas on December 25th actually has nothing to do with the birthday of Jesus. If you carefully research where Christmas came from, it points to the birthday of a different deity. In other words, a different God. Stay tuned to find out whose birthday Christmas belongs to and the true origin of this holiday. Now, let's begin. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. I'm Lauren. And I'm Allie. Allie, have you noticed that the weather has been getting colder? Clearly 2021 is now coming to an end. That's right. And do you know what else? It's been a year since we started presenting our webinars. Wow, so much has happened, right? Time flies. We held our first webinar around this time last year, and today will be our eighth webinar. Oh, that's right. I feel like we came this far because of everyone's support. I've heard the number of views for each webinar has increased, and we've received hundreds of thousands of views. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have supported the Arise and Shine Bible webinar. We'll continue to do our best to bring you more truth from the Bible and make it fun and easy to learn. So Lauren, what's today's topic? Today we're going to find out more about the true origins of Christmas. It's common for people to think that Christmas is the day Jesus Christ was born. However, when we look throughout history, we can see that Christmas was never the birth of Jesus. Instead, we find that Christmas is the birthday of the sun god, and its origins come from a non-Christian custom that commemorates this day. People who don't go to church may dismiss this fact by simply responding, what difference does it make? But if you believe in God, this issue should be taken more seriously. So today, we'll do some fact-checking and deep digging to discover whose birthday Christmas really is. I guess the first fact we should look into is whether or not December 25th is the actual day Jesus was born. Yes. Simply put, Jesus was not born on Christmas, December 25th. Firstly, the Bible never mentions the exact date of Jesus' birth. But with a few clues, we can determine in which season Jesus was born. December falls in the winter season. However, Jesus was born sometime in the spring. In the Gospel of Luke in the New Testament, we can find a record of Jesus' birth. As you can see, there is no exact date recorded in the Bible. It only tells us that when Jesus was born, shepherds were watching the sheep out in the fields. Something to note is that Israel has a Mediterranean climate, with December starting its rainy season. So in winter, generally you will not find sheep grazing outside. Therefore, shepherds tending their sheep outside at night hints to the fact that Jesus was not born during the cold winter. So if Christmas is not the actual birthday of Jesus, whose birthday is it? The reality is, Christmas is the birthday of Mithra, and Mithra is the sun god who was very popular within the Roman Empire. This may be the first time some of you watching have heard of the sun god Mithra. When Christianity was introduced in Rome, Mithraism, the worship of Mithra, was prevalent in the Roman Empire. Mithraism was a religion that came from Zoroastrianism in Persia and later was introduced to Rome during the first century BC. Mithra was described as an unconquerable, immortal young god. It was popular among soldiers and gradually was accepted by nobles, imperial households, and was even elevated to be a guardian deity for empires and emperors. 
the sun god Mithra was born on December 25th. The Encyclopedia Britannica records that December 25th was a pagan festival in the Roman Empire. It was marked as the day the sun began to shine again. In AD 274, Emperor Aurelius established this day as the birthday of the sun god. Having heard all of these facts, I bet you're wondering, how did Christmas, the birthday of the sun god, which has nothing to do with Jesus, become the birthday of Christ? When Christianity was spreading and absorbed into Rome, various Roman festivals merged together and transformed into Jesus' birthday. In fact, people never celebrated Christmas until around the 4th century. If you look in the book World Christian Church History, written by Song Nak Won, we can find detailed explanations of the origins of Christmas. Records of Christmas celebrations start around 354 about 300 years after Jesus ascended to heaven. Its origin does not come from the teachings of Jesus and the disciples, but from the custom of worshiping the Roman sun god Mithra. At that time in Rome, there were three major festivals held every December to worship the sun god. They were called Saturnalia, Sigillaria, and Brumalia. The Saturnalia festival was celebrated until the 24th, which is the day before the sun god's birthday. During this time, people of all ages, rich and poor alike, were absorbed and involved in revelry. The Sigillaria festival was in late December, where children were given gifts to play with, and Brumalia was the celebration of the sun god's birth, commemorating the rising of the sun. Christians who couldn't participate in these festivals wanted a special celebration of their own. They thought it was appropriate that Jesus was born after the sun came out, so the custom of celebrating Christmas on Jesus' birthday began at this time. We can also see this in the book, The History of Christianity. The Christian church took over many pagan ideas and images. For example, Christmas was based on the worship of the sun. December 25th is the day of the sun festival, or the day the sun was born in the original English text. We see that December 25th, the festival of the sun god, was turned into the birthday of Christ, History makes it clear that Christmas has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. It's a Christianized celebration created by the Romans who worship the sun as a god. It's not only Christmas that originated from sun god worship. The Christmas tree, a popular Christmas tradition, is also associated with sun god worship. In an excerpt from the book, Festivals, Holy Days, and Saints Days, we can see proof that the Christmas tree and other Christmas traditions come from sun worship. In the universe, tree lights, flowers, and gilded nuts and balls symbolizing the sun. All the festivities of the winter solstice have been absorbed into Christmas Day. The Christmas tree to the honors paid of Odin's sacred fir. These Christmas celebrations and customs combined with capitalism of that era and began to be commercialized and generalized. A typical example is the trademark of Christmas, Santa Claus. Santa Claus is derived from St. Nicholas. He was extremely charitable and always did good deeds in secret after becoming an archbishop in the city of Patera Lycia in Asia Minor in 270 AD. One day, Nicholas heard a heartbreaking story that three daughters of a poor household could not marry because they had no dowry. So he secretly dropped gold coins into the house's chimney, each of which fell into three stockings hung on the fireplace. This is the story that was said to have created the custom of hanging stockings and waiting for gifts on Christmas Eve. Also on Christmas Eve in 1822, Santa Claus first appeared in front of the general public while riding a sleigh pulled by reindeer as it is imagined today. He went from a tall and sharp figure to having chubby cheeks. The fat figure came from a 19th century cartoonist named Thomas Nast, who spent 20 years drawing Christmas illustrations for magazines. Then, a long beard and a red outfit became Santa Claus's trademark when Coca-Cola used it in a 1931 commercial. Although there is an illusion that Christmas is the day to commemorate the birth of Jesus, the origins, customs, and commercialization of this day have nothing to do with Christ. Yes, Christmas is the birthday of the sun god, which is completely unrelated to Jesus. It's a commercialized celebration made up by modern society. Then why do churches that believe in God stick to keeping Christmas? 
They may say something like, it's the action and heart to celebrate the birth of Jesus that's important, not the date or how you celebrate it. Our mindset, of course, is important, but God doesn't want people to serve him with days and ceremonies that come from pagan religions. God made it clear through the Bible that we should not imitate those who worship other gods. God even punished the people who forsook God's law, following the laws of other nations. The book Encyclopedia of Bible Theology and Church Literature also states that Christmas is neither ordered by God nor originated from the Bible. Jesus said that keeping man-made commandments, like Christmas, is worshiping Him in vain. No matter how much you believe in God, if you keep the commandments of men, that faith is nothing in the sight of God. Christmas is not a commandment from God nor the Bible, but a man's commandment derived from the customs of pagan religions. If we believe in God, we should know if God is really pleased with celebrating Christmas. Yes, Allie, that's true. On the contrary, the Bible documents the ceremonies that Jesus commanded us to keep to commemorate him. Jesus said, I have eagerly waited to eat this Passover with you and do this in remembrance of me. In other words, when Jesus said, if you want to commemorate me, you must keep this ceremony, he was referring to the Passover, not Christmas. Jesus put his blood shed on the cross for the forgiveness of humankind's sins in the bread and wine of the Passover. And he commanded us to commemorate his death by keeping the Passover. Ironically, people who claim to believe in God don't keep the Passover that Jesus longed to keep and even commanded us to celebrate. But instead, they cherish and keep Christmas, which originated from the worship of the sun god. Before Jesus was crucified on the cross, he said, John chapter 14, verse 15, If you love me, you will obey what I command. If we truly love God, should we keep Christmas that originated from sun god worship? Or should we keep Jesus' commandment and follow his example? We hope today can be an opportunity for you to look back and reflect on how to love God truly. This brings us to the end of today's webinar. Thank you for being with us, and we hope we can bring you even more surprising truths from the Bible next time. Thank you. Bye! Bye.